Last year, Google introduced AI code assistant feature for Colab only for the paid members. But here is the good news for all users. Google recently enabled the code assistant feature for all the Colab users, including the users who are using the Colab for free. So anyone who are using the Google Colab is eligible to use AI Power Code Assistant in the Colab. You just need to open the Colab and go to the right hand side and click the Colab AI. It asks to go through the privacy policy. Just click on next. Accept the term and condition for using generative AI in Colab and you are ready to use it. Now you can enter any prompt here or you can ask anything. So let's start and test this Colab AI. I already have one data frame. Let's read the data. First import pandas. Let's do some mistake and let's see how Colab AI correct me. For instance, let's suppose we don't know read CSV. Now we get the error. Now click on explain error. Here it read the code and it correct me that it is not read CSV, it is read underscore CSV. So copy it and press it here. Now first instance it look good, it read the code and correct me where I am wrong. Now let us ask how we can find missing value from our data set. Uh, it generated and it's suggesting that we have to go through is null method. Mm, we have to apply drop now to drop the rows that containing the null value or we can also fill the value with using fill now method okay uh, let's use this code you can also generate the code or ask anything related to your data in the cell as well just click on the generate if you have multiple data just click on using and select the data frame that you want to use to generate the output like here i'm selecting data now you can ask anything related to your data to generate the result like generate the summary of my data set and click enter here it will suggest the code that used to get the result like i'm using data.describe it will give a brief summary of my data if you are not satisfied with the result you can also generate again by clicking generate as like other code assistant or chat gpt you can also use colab ai to explain your code like let's say i have code snippet and i want to understand the what above code is doing so i just simply paste the code and ask colab to explain it so yeah first let me give you a context this is a simple recursive function for creating fibonacci number i'm just pasting that and checking whether it is able to explain it or not first it able to detect that it is a recursive function for calculating fibonacci series and it is also able to explain code line by line like what is the main function is doing uh, terminating statement or the recursive statement what are those it's quite able to explain all those code line by line so it is quite handy to understand you can even generate the sql query just write the context for the query let's say we have two table salary table and employee table and we want to know the second highest salary of the employee and here we get the query we simply do join between the salary and employee table and we get the second highest salary of the employee it also explain the sql query well and it explain it with giving you one example so yeah collab ai is really helpful for that let also ask to generate the correlation plot of our data set using seaborn library first select the data set now write the generation prompt and hit enter 
execute the code and here we get the correlation plot for our data set coding assistant is not new but in built coding assistant for collab is definitely a great feature lot of time it happen we have to switch to other coding assistant like code square chat gpt or github copilot for coding assistance but they also have some limitations and we also have to switch one to another for that unfortunately this collab ai feature is freely accessible for limited period for free users you can treat this as a trial version of collab ai coding assistant google already mentioned that this feature is last till 2024 for free users after that it is only available for paid user according to my opinion it is a great step by google to help student and other researchers who want to use this features for free so use it till this feature is available and let me know if you have any doubt thank you